Hi students, this is your science miss. In this session, we are going to discuss unit 11, air. Air is a mixture of gases that surrounds our planet Earth. Air contains 78.09% of nitrogen, 20.95% of oxygen, 0.93% of argon, 0.04% of carbon dioxide and small amount of other gases. We breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants in turn use carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and release oxygen into the atmosphere. Here in this chapter, we are going to study about oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and the effects like greenhouse effect, global warming and acid rain. First, we will see about oxygen. All living things in the world need oxygen. Swedish chemist C.W. Shelley first discovered oxygen in 1772. He called the gas fire air or vital life because it was found to support the process of burning. Levoshier named oxygen. The meaning of it is acid producer. Occurrence of oxygen. Oxygen is the most abandoned element in the Earth's crust by mass and the third most abandoned element after hydrogen and helium in the universe. It occurs both in free state and in combined state. In combined state, it is present in the Earth's crust as silicates and metal oxides. Triatomic molecule O3 known as ozone is present in the upper layer of the atmosphere. Physical properties of oxygen. Oxygen is a colorless, odorless and tasteless gas. It is the poor conductor of heat and electricity. Oxygen dissolves readily in cold water. Oxygen, it is a denser than air. It can be made into liquid that is liquefied at high pressure and low temperature. It supports combustion. The chemical properties of oxygen are combustibility. Oxygen is a non-combustible gas at, as it does not burn on its own but it supports combustion. Reaction with metals. Oxygen reacts with metal to give metal oxides. For example, sodium reacts with oxygen gives sodium oxide. Reaction with non-metals. Non-metal reacts with oxygen to give non-metallic oxides. For example, carbon reacts with oxygen to give carbon dioxide. Reaction with hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons means compounds containing carbon and hydrogen. Here hydrocarbons reacts with oxygen to give carbon dioxide plus water plus heat and light. Rusting. What is rusting? The process of conversion of iron into its hydrated form of oxide in the presence of air and moisture is called rusting. Rusting na irumbu thurupudikirudha da rusting nu soluva. Fe plus O2 gives iron plus oxygen gives iron oxide ferric oxide. This ferric oxide plus water molecules X number of water molecules gives rust. Uses of oxygen. Oxygen is used as oxyacetylene cylinders for cutting and welding metals. It is used to remove carbon impurities from steel. Plants and animals use oxygen from the air for respiration. It is used as rocket fuel. Oxygen is used for artificial respiration by scuba drivers, mountainers, astronauts and patients. Mixed with powdered charcoal is used as explosive. 
it is used in the synthesis of methanol and ammonia and the next gas we are going to study is nitrogen nitrogen is one of the most important element it is an essential element present in proteins and nucleic acids which are the building blocks of all living things nitrogen is first isolated by daniel rutherford in 1772 Anton Lavoisier suggested the name azote from the Greek word which means no life. Occurrence of nitrogen. Nitrogen is the fourth most abundant element in the human body. Physical properties of nitrogen. Nitrogen is a colorless, tasteless and odorless gas. It is slightly lighter than air. it is slightly soluble in water nitrogen becomes liquid at low temperature and looks like water when it freezes it becomes white solid it is neutral to litmus like oxygen chemical properties of nitrogen chemical reactivity nitrogen is inactive at ordinary temperature it combines with many elements at high temperature and pressure combustion nitrogen is neither combustible nor a supporter of combustion reaction with metals nitrogen reacts with metal and gives metal nitrite for example calcium reacts with nitrogen and give calcium nitrite reaction with non metals non metal reacts with nitrogen to give nitrogen compounds for example hydrogen reacts with nitrogen give ammonia uses of nitrogen liquid nitrogen are used as a refrigerant it provides an inner atmosphere for conducting certain chemical reactions it is used to prepare ammonia by hybris process nowadays nitrogen is used as a substitute for compressed air in tires it is used for filling the spaces above mercury in high temperatures thermometers to reduce the evaporation of mercury many explosives such as tnt tri nitrotoluene nitroglycerin and gunpowder contains nitrogen it is also used for the preservation of food manufacturing of steel, stainless steel reducing fire hazards nowadays nitrogen is used as a substitute for compressing air in tires nitrogen fixation is a very important process that takes place in the plants Uh, any process that converts nitrogen in the air into a useful nitrogen compound is called nitrogen fixation root noodles uh, present in this root helps in nitrogen fixation the next gas what we are going to study is carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide is a chemical compound which contains one carbon and two oxygen atom. The formula of uh, carbon dioxide is CO2. It is found in the earth's atmosphere and it sends back the solar energy which is reflected by the surface of the earth to make it possible for living organisms to survive. occurrence of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is present in the air to the extent of about 0.03 percentage by volume physical properties of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a colorless and odorless gas it is heavier than air it does not support combustion it is fairly soluble in water and turns blue litmus slightly red so it is acidic in nature it can be e easily liquefied under high pressure and can be solidified this solid form of co2 is called dry ice which undergoes sublimation what is sublimation the process of conversion of solid into vapor without reaching liquid state is called sublimation 
chemical properties of carbon dioxide combustibility carbon dioxide is a non combustible gas reaction with metals sodium plus carbon dioxide gives sodium carbonate plus carbon reaction with sodium hydroxide that means base alkali sodium hydroxide plus co2 carbon dioxide gives sodium bicarbonate plus water reaction with lime water calcium hydroxide when a limited amount of carbon dioxide is passed through the lime water it turns milky due to the formation of insoluble calcium carbonate that is in the equation the planet venus atmosphere consists of roughly 96 to 97 percentage of carbon dioxide this is very important uses of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is used to prepare soft drinks or aerated drinks it is used in fire extinguishers it is used in the manufacture of sodium carbonate by solvic process solid carbon dioxide called as dry ice is used as a refrigerant it is used along with ammonia in the manufacture of fertilizers like urea carbon dioxide can be used in the preservation of food grains fruits etc aerated water is nothing but carbon dioxide dissolved in water under pressure this is also called soda water now we are going to continue with greenhouse effect global warming and acid rain certain gas molecules present in the atmosphere absorb the infrared rays and re radiate the heat in all direction these gases which absorb this radiations are called greenhouse gases and this effect is called greenhouse effect the greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide nitrogen dioxide methane chlorofluorocarbons etc the greenhouse gases is caused due to the increase in the air pollutant and it results in the average increase of temperature of the atmosphere this is called as global warming the effects of global warming effects of global warming are melting of ice caps and glaciers increase in frequency of flood solid erosion and unseasonal rains loss of biodiversity due to the extinction of coral reefs and other key species spreading of waterborne and insect borne diseases preventive measures to prevent global warming reduce the use of fossil fuels controlling deforestation restriction in the use of cfc chlor chlorofluorocarbons planting more trees reducing reusing and recycling resources using renewable energy resources now acid rain what is acid rain rain water is actually the purest form of water the police are somehow pollutants such as oxides of nitrogen and sulfur in the air releases by the factories burning fossil fuels eruption of volcanoes etc dissolve in rain water and form nitric acid and sulfuric acid which add up the acidity of rain water hence it results in acid rain effects of acid rain acid rain affects us in many ways some of the consequences are it irritates eye and skin of human beings it inhibits germination of growth of seedlings it changes the fertility of the soil destroys plants and aquatic life it causes corrosion of many buildings bridges etc preventive measures are minimizing the usage of fossil fuels such as petrol diesel etc using compressed natural gas using non conventional source of energy proper disposal of industrial waste girls go through the video 
and find out the answers for the evaluation thank you students